Hi everyone, welcome to the latest massive TLP YouTube collaboration for 2022. Uh, we have a June release coming up. We have eight new colors. A lot of you guys already know, you've already seen some little glimpses of them. Um, really excited to just kick off this collab train with my video. So let me just run you guys through exactly how this collaboration train is going to work. So basically there's eight new colors coming out uh, we've been put into groups of five, so there's going to be five artists in the train today, five more artists in the train tomorrow, and then next weekend we're going to have another five on the Saturday and another five on the Sunday. So I know that's a lot to take in right now, but we had a lot of really keen artists around the world that wanted to contribute. So why not let everybody join in and yeah, can't wait for the fun to begin. So what this means is you're about to catch a glimpse of all eight piggies being used in all various types of fluid art across the 20 artists in this collab. So I'm going to kick it off today with my piece. Now the theme for this collab was um, our hometown. So we've all been assigned two particular colors that we need to showcase in our pool today and tomorrow and next weekend. So my hometown piece is inspired by the hometown that I'm from, which is a little coastal town on the east coast of Australia called Coffs Harbour. So I grew up in Coffs Harbour, um, pretty much on the beach. I used to get up in the morning and go and see the sunrises, um, surf all day, watch the sunset. So obviously my piece is going to be very beachy. Um, the two colors that I've been assigned as long as well as the other four artists behind me today in this train, um, which is, I may as well mention now, um, Fiona Art is going to be directly after me. Uh, then it's Raina, which of what the beep after Fiona, then it's Garrick Brown Art Studios and then Gina DeLuca. So I have a really amazing group in my, my five artist group. Um, and we all have been assigned Afterglow and Whitehaven. So Afterglow is a really beautiful, it's a soft neon peach. It's very, very pinky front on, um, but when it gets in the warm light, it has a really beautiful peachy apricot um, shimmer from the mica. So yeah, really proud of those, those two beautiful colors and they fit perfectly for my, my hometown pool, which is the sunset and the beach. So can't wait to show you guys what I've been up to for mine. Um, yeah, don't forget to, to check the description box below in my video um, and you'll find the link to Fiona's video directly after mine. Now Fiona has all of the links of the artists that are going to go after her and so do all the artists that are coming after her. So you can always find the link to the next artist in the description box below the one that you're watching. Okay, so to make it easier, we've created a playlist. Now if you look at the right of my screen, you should see a box with all of the artists uh, name in the train so if you click on that um, it should bring up automatically all of the videos in line so you don't have to jump from channel to channel if you click the top one it's going to take you through the train one by one without having to switch channels so that's really handy but keep in mind that we aren't actually finished until next weekend so um, you can still click on that, but some of the videos won't premiere until the time slot that is allocated once you click on that. Um, but, you know, afterwards it should make things much easier. If you want to watch the whole thing, one after the other with all the channels, um, you can just click on that and it makes it a lot easier. So we love playlist. We've just discovered that and it's going to make things hopefully a lot easier, um, especially later on for viewers that want to jump in later. Um, the, the playlist is going to make it much easier to jump from channel to channel. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty of the time slots. So today I'm going to kick it off um, Brisbane, Australia, 8 o'clock, which is going to be now, um, my video. So there's going to be a 30 minute piggy frenzy shopping window. So we realized that we are releasing the piggies after my video and you guys might want to jump over and pick your favorite ones and pop them in the cart. So we've allowed our 30 minute window between my video and Fiona's video um, for you to jump over and do any shopping that you might want to do because the release is happening directly after my video today. Um, after the shopping window, we kick off with Fiona. So Fiona's from Slovenia 
and um, her her channel is Fiona Art and she's freaking amazing. So I can't wait to see what she has done. I haven't seen anybody else's videos, by the way, guys. So um, it's going to be a surprise for me as well. Um, followed by Raina, um, followed by Garrick, followed, followed by Gina. So they're all half hour videos around about. So it gives you guys... Um, well, 27, 28 minute videos gives you guys some time in between to have a little rest break um, and then pop back and watch the next one. Okay, so that brings me to my video and my inspiration behind my piece. So I decided to do something completely different today. Freaked myself out, didn't think I'd get it done in time, had a lot of mishaps, learned a lot of lessons, but really the end result is... I think fabulous. So I can't really wait to show you guys what I've done. So today I've been making some, um, over the last couple of weeks, I've been making making some paint skins. So what that means is I'm using my usual bloom and swipe technique, but I'm I'm doing it on the Fluid Art Co pore mats, which are made from silicon. So if I spin them out thin enough, I can peel the sheets off um, and I can cut up my paint skins that come off the sheet in any way, shape or form I like. So today I decided to make some wiggly lines, cutting them out from the skins, and I decided to make a big sunset beach sand um, timber panel um, that I can pretty much um, pour a couple of coats of resin on and use for whatever I like in the future. So I could make a clock out of it, um, I could make a table, but today I'm just going to be putting some D-rings on the back of it and making an actual hanging piece of art, like a painting for the wall. So I went through a lot of trial and error with my piece today. So I've never really made paint skins before. So after I sliced them all up, um, I decided that I would place them all onto the board and then just try to kind of remember where they were. So when I took them all off and I went to glue them on individually, I could put them back in the same spot. That didn't really work for me that well. I was really, really concerned about that. Um, I had them all in place and they were all, all kind of sticking together anyway because the paint skins were quite fresh, um, they're quite shiny and glossy and I noticed when I was pushing them all down onto the board that they tended to stick together anyway. Even though they weren't glued underneath, um, the skins were sticking to each other and I realised that once I'd done my sunset and placed it all in a row where I wanted it from top to bottom, um, I could peel the whole sheet of skins off in one go. So that was one third of my painting ready to go. So I decided to just go with that. Um, and then I made my sand as well with all of my White Haven. And I've mixed a little bit of Zeus into that to make it like a little bit of darker sand um, towards the water. So laying my paint skins down, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do here? Like, I can't take them all off. I could take a photo and kind of try to put them back where they were. But I just decided to wing it and because they were all so sticky together, I decided to roll them with this crazy thing here, which I think is for prints, but you know, definitely does roll down paint skins and make them all stick together really nicely um, as well. So that's my new use for that tool. So I was rolling them down, sticking them all together, and I realized I could peel off, you know, a really good sheet of my skins from the board, ready to glue down later. So I just continued to do that. I did my sunset, I did my beach, um, and then I did my waves in the middle. And what I decided to do was spray that entire surface on the top with a gloss varnish spray. Now what this did was joined all of my skins together on the top of the board. I know they're not glued down underneath, but it joined them all together on the top so I could peel off my, my circle because I'm doing a big round circle board, which you'll see. Um, I could peel it all off in one go. So what you'll see me doing is um, placing the skins down, not gluing them, and then varnishing all of my skins from the top so that my whole circle stuck together. Then I could move all my skins off in one go and then place down my adhesive and put it all back on. Then I basically just trimmed the edges and covered it in resin. So I know that's a lot to take in right now. Um, but you'll see as I go step by step through the process um, what I ended up choosing to do. So I'm really happy with the end result. It's something I've never done before, so forgive me if it's not um, what you might normally do with paint skins, but I feel like I did a really good job and it worked for me. All the skins stuck together, peeled off together. I could place them back on um, and then resin over the top. So I was really, really happy with the technique and the decisions that I made. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it and um, don't forget to show your support to the other artists following me in this collab. 
it is over two weekends. We didn't want to bombard you guys too much with, with too many videos in a row. So we've really split them into just five, five people each group. Um, and then, yeah, don't forget, you can click in that right description box and, um, and kick off the, the playlist, which will just take you from each artist to the next without having to click on the channels. So that's amazing. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the, at the running sheet of all our artists. So obviously I'm going first today. Yay for me. I went last last time, so I get to go first today. Um, following me is Fiona, then Raina, then Garrick, then Gina. Now tomorrow, um, on the 26th, it will be Mitchell. Mitchell helped me a lot with my, uh, with my skins and he had a lot of um, really amazing um, advice on how to do certain parts of it. So I took some and I ignored some and I kind of did my own thing and took some of his thing and, and yeah, it worked out perfect. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to Mitchell for helping me um, at the 11th hour with some of my, my problems I have. Um, so following Mitchell tomorrow will be uh, Chris from Germany. Um, then it's the beautiful Jody from Illinois, USA. Lee and Jeremy, the Massey boys. So glad to have you boys. Welcome. Um, and then Christina from North Carolina. Okay, so then next weekend we have Erica Hughes kicking it off at 6 o'clock p.m. at Erica's local time, which is in Ireland. Um, followed by Rinska Duna. We're so happy to have Rinska. Um, join us for this collab, amazing artist. As I said, we've got some really amazing people in this in this collaboration and some of them are actually new um, and we've never had them join us before. Um, so then it will be Sarah, the amazing Sarah Mack. Uh, then Shaman is following Sarah from Arizona. Um, Kathleen, we haven't had Kathleen. Kathleen Osmore, really, really stoked to be um, in the same lineup as Kathleen. She's amazing. I call her the swiping queen. So make sure you look out for her video. Um, and then on the Sunday, which is the 3rd of July, we have the beautiful Nikki from Brisbane, Australia. Nikki D. Uh, Mina, Mina Vallegas is following Nikki. Then we have Karen Durishan from Virginia, USA. I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with Karen. Um, Jess from California, Jessica Winterstrom, um, followed by the amazing Lisa Marvin Art. Um, so Lisa's going to be wrapping it up for us, um, 11 a.m. Um, Sunday, the 3rd of July. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of these incredible artists that have joined me for this collaboration. Also, guys, don't forget that there will be live chats happening um, in the comments section of each video. So if you guys want to live chat with us while the video is premiering, um, please join us, um, ask any questions, show your support. All the artists would really appreciate that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all the channels. That would be amazing. We, we appreciate that so much. So yeah, it's not hard to just click, click, click. All right, so after trying to get all of that information across to you guys in one go, I hope you caught all of the important parts. Um, please enjoy uh, my pour, my video. It's a lot of hours of really hard work. I'm really, really proud of it. I've never done it before, so be kind. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy watching the kind of sped up process because Mine took probably, if I was to film it in real time, it might have been four or five hours, but I've, had, I've cut it down into 45 minutes for you guys. So yeah, please enjoy my, my video and yeah, thanks for having us. And don't forget to join the TLP Facebook group and stay tuned to the Fluid Art Co website um, for more information on the release. But yeah, within the next hour, Piggies will be released and yeah. Hope you get in there and get your favorites. Um, and yeah, enjoy my video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.